Okay, let's take a look at utilizing barcodes within documents or on cover sheets to automate the naming of files or automate the splitting of files into multiple files. We're using Docify Batch here and the first thing we'll touch on is how you can utilize any of the barcode values in the naming of the file as well as creating a subfolder. We're using a, a scripting language and creating file names that are the barcode value as well as the current timestamp and we're creating a folder as well using the date and hour stamp and uh, we can take a look at some of the uh, keywords that are available to us with the system so let's go ahead and run this uh, we're going to process a folder uh, our profile defines what the input folder is and what the output folder is so when I start my job, it'll pick up all the files contained in the folder and do all of the uh, recognition of the barcodes. So here I have uh, one folder automatically created along with the uh, names of, of the files um, based on the keywords that I use for the outbound file names, the uh, barcode value as well as the uh, minutes. And we've also automated the uh, naming of the the uh, subfolder. So let's go ahead and change that and run it again. We'll uh, append Smiths as the file name and uh, separate them into their own directories based on the barcode value. So we go ahead again and run it again and, and now we have multiple barcodes created, each one with an individual file this time and each of the files is prefaced with the uh, Smiths um, name of the patient or whatever and uh, here we have those files um, with, with the medical records uh, all intact. And in one last demonstration we'll go back in, edit the profile and change the file names to a timestamp so um, we can have a unique file name associated with each of the documents and we'll store them all into a um, single file called Smith's Invoices. And again we run it and the system will create the Smith's Invoices folder for us and each of the files is individually timestamped.